Oh, hey, you've caught me uh, drying some dishes here. I'm staying here in um, a cabin in the Adirondack Mountains, and I'm super excited because I'm looking out this window right here and the sun's coming in. It's actually the first sun that I've seen this entire week, but there's snow on the ground and I absolutely love snow. Um, like I said, I've been here for about a week and um, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just sort of wrapping up because I'm going to check out today, but um, I'm really just, I'm, I'm reflecting on how wonderful this time has been doing this very thing. I, I um, not that I love doing housework or anything, but there's something really comforting about drying dishes and, and keeping a home that keeps me a little bit rooted. When you travel around a lot, it's easy to feel like you're disconnected from everywhere, and this is really about connection. The other thing that's really important about this is it represents my ability to cook. Now, I do a lot of Airbnb um, stuff, and uh, excuse me here, I gotta put away some of these plates. But um, I do a lot of Airbnbs, and when I look for an Airbnb, I always look for one that has a kitchen. And the reason for that is pretty simple. Number one, it's just cheaper to cook for oneself. Uh, eating out at restaurants all the time can get quite expensive. The other thing though, and, and really more importantly to me, is I love to cook and I love the ability to produce the food that I eat. And so it really keeps me connected to something that's very rudimentary and very human. The final thing is I like to stay fit and um, healthy and it's important to me that I have some control over my food. Going to grocery store gives me that, that ability. Today's my last day here in, um, in uh, Woodgate, and Woodgate's just a little town right on the inside of the Adirondack Park. And um, it's, been a, it's been a very lovely week, though it didn't start off so. So I thought I'd take a little bit of a moment here this morning to, to tell you what it is that um, I'm doing here, because um, my reason for being here in the Adirondacks has a lot to do overall with my journey. As you know, I've been traveling around uh, the world and um, I resigned from my job at the U.S. Embassy. And one of the real reasons for that is because I wanted to spend some time and get connected to me. It's very difficult in the hectic world that we live in to just sit and be with oneself. I also have a past that's been very tumultuous. And so I've had a lot of reasons from the past to be disconnected. And here I am at 48 years old, and um, I'd like to be connected to myself. I'd like to, to own who I am and be able to uh, enjoy the company of myself. During this week, I've actually done a lot of just sleeping, cooking food for myself, journal writing. I've watched a lot of shows, How to Get Away with Murder, I've been binge watching. And then I did some hiking. I also am a, a big fan of um, old historic hotels, and so there's a few here in the area that were built back in the 1920s. Uh, actually, one was even built in 1891, so I've gone and toured those as well. Met some interesting characters here at, up in the Adirondack Mountains. The other thing is that I experience a little bit of depression, and this is something that's fairly common in my life. Um, I, since I was about 18 years old, I've had off and on bouts of depression. And um, sometimes it seems like that there's a reason for it. Other times there's not. I, um, it's a mild form of depression and so I've chosen not to go on medication. I, I was on medication earlier on in my life and I didn't like the results. I've tried at various times throughout my life and continue to not like the results. And so I've looked for ways to um, to address this on my own. One of those ways is just to slow my life down, to get centered, to get rest, to get exercise, and to really get connected with the things that I love. Healthy eating really helps a lot, making sure I have a good, good nutrition in my body. It sets up an environment where I can deal with the problems that come with that depression. The other thing about depression is, is it gives me the sense that I'm disconnected and, and confused. And so I spent some of this time this week just stopping to meditate. 
I turn the television off, put down the devices. I just spent some time with me. This was an extremely rewarding practice this week. I'll tell you more, I think, in, in the weeks to come. I'm still processing much of that. But as the week went along, the depression lifted, and I began to see light at the end of the tunnel. So here I am now with my cup of coffee, feeling much more energized and connected with myself. And um, I'm looking very much forward to going to New York City. And um, in a few minutes here, I'm looking forward to uh, getting out and going uh, to a diner. Uh, diners are one of my favorites, and I love breakfast food. So it'll be my first meal out for the week, and um, I'm going to spend it at a diner. So reporting to you live here from the Adirondack Mountains in upstate New York. Peace out. Till next.